Hello everybody to this how-to video here at Tronius International. Today I want to show you a new feature and this is about tariff zones that we added on our Solar Wattpilot app. In order to use them, please make sure to update your Wattpilot and the Solar Wattpilot app to the newest version. And now I want to show you how you can activate them. So we are on our Solar Wattpilot app right now. We go to settings on the very bottom and then select cost optimization. In here, we already can read use flexible tariff. Of course, we want that. We enable it and are now able to, to hit the select button right below it, where we come to the country and the tariff zone in order to select those. So we can see here a list of all the available European countries. So uh, please just check it out if your country is inside and select this one. For example, if I select Austria, I have then the next step would be to select the tariff zone. In Austria, we only have one. Uh, in, in many other countries, we would have several ones and you simply select your tariff zone that you have available here. Uh, one hint about Austria and Germany, we no longer have Avatar and Luminastrom visible in here. They are also integrated in the tariff zones. So don't worry, they are in there. They are just not, uh, uh, they are just not labeled as Avatar or Luminastrom anymore. All right, if we have entered that, we can already see the price chart below from the stock market. Uh, please remember, it's the stock market. So according to your tariff, there can be uh, additional uh, prices which can be added on here, but this would be really the stock market and this is proportional to your tariff that you have then. All right, if we are happy with what we have selected, we hit the save button. We come out to the sub menu before and one more thing I wanted to explain is now a, a little bit further down below, we can read echo mode threshold. And here we can enter a price. And if we undershoot this price, then the loading, the, the loading uh, or the charging starts of the electric vehicle. Please make sure to remember or to know that in nighttime, when we undershoot this tariff, this threshold, it can of course happen that we discharge the stationary battery that we might have in our system. And only after that, the grid would be used for charging up the vehicle. If I don't want that to happen, you can set a battery management feature on the inverter where we have connected our stationary battery to and simply select a maximum discharging power of some certain watts in order to prevent the complete discharging during night times of my stationary battery. All right, that's it for the settings in the cost optimization in order to use the flexible tariffs. And if we are done, we hit the save button, go out and would be now ready to charge.